Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of walk through that a little bit. Yeah. 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 It's going to be built. What do you want to do today, but we don't have? Um, you do it as a we're happy with it. I'll talk to you about to schedule a job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. 
they wake up and go to bed every night thinking about small, mid-sized businesses and how to make their lot in life better. And one of those companies is Sage Software. Um, Sage is very invested in this construction real estate vertical. Um, they have um, over 50,000, very compelling number, over 50,000 construction real estate companies. So, uh, you know, many of our customers are billion dollar plus companies. They count as one, and there's 50,000 of them. And they are the ones who provided us with feedback and in turn allowed to make us our tools more nimble. And we also realized that the needs of growing, rapidly growing, and going on to the next stage companies are very, very different. And Sage purposefully caters to all those needs. So, kind of like the internet, there's two plus per hour new construction customers coming into the marketplace in North America. Another very compelling statistic. And what are we doing to handle that growth? So, in our technology stack, what are all the pieces we cover? These are all the pieces that are covered in our technology stack. Um, today our, our focus is um, mainly in and around the service piece and how to be more agile and nimble in the field with the service piece. Okay, so with that, um, I will hand and I will hand it over to Kathy Ginocchio, who is uh, well done. Yes, I made practice my last name. <laughs> uh, who's here from Beaverton, Oregon. Uh, Kathy's a very uh, passionate advocate for small, mid-sized construction companies, and uh, she manages the cloud business portfolio uh, at, uh, at Sage. At the same time, I'm also going to uh, acknowledge Tom Houston from Modern Niagara, who's going to uh, provide more in-depth uh, Introduction is going to provide his journey and Modern Niagara's journey uh, with uh, Sage Service Operations, how they've been able to leverage growth uh, in their business. We also have Mr. Chris Evans here, uh, who took the time out from Modern Niagara. Thank you, Chris. Um, and uh, Jay Amorelli, who's uh, our star at the back of the room, uh, he lives and breathes the same service operations and cloud technology, and he's, he's going to talk about that in more in-depth uh, introductions. Cassie? Great. Oh, yeah. I already have, I'm mic'd up, oh, just like Britney Spears. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie, for the introduction, and thank you all for coming here. Everybody hear me okay? Is it too loud, too soft? We good? Okay. All right, I'm going to be talking about today the challenges that companies like yours are having out there as far as mobility and as far as their operations. What challenges are, are they having and facing today? And um, we'll be talking also with um, Tom, who really, he's going to give you his first-hand experience of using this software and how he faced those challenges. As well as Jay, who um, will actually demo the software, get really into, in depth into the software, be able to answer any of your questions. He's so involved in the design and development of this product. Like uh, Carrie said, he lives and breathes it. So he'll be showing you the live demo. And I'm sure that's all you want to get into. All right, but first we're going to make you work a little bit. We're going to wake everyone up. Your, uh, your body packs up. Pardon me? Your, your body packs up. It's full, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Shallow pockets. Yeah. Okay, I'll just hold it. <clears throat> so, we'd like to hear from you why you're here today. And what are some of the challenges that your business is facing? Why did you come here today? Anybody want to volunteer to start? Sure, yeah. resource management, looking at uh, everything from resources from fleet, manpower, how to kind of tie everything in on top of the estimating 
I wonder if we can use this. Yeah, mic. absolutely. I'll help you. That's good <laughs> because I must not be very strong. <clears throat> Um, basically, uh, fleet management, resource management, from everything to manpower, scheduling. Um, how to, is that going to tie in with our estimating module? Can we kind of monitor projects a little bit better? That's kind of the, the forecast of what I was kind of looking at with as well as the team. Great. Fantastic. Anybody else? Before Kathy puts you on the spot? Oh, there we go. There we go. Hi, um, I'm very happy to come here. Um, I would like to find uh, a kind of uh, comfortable device tablet for the site technicians who they will uh, like to use and they can the, like uh, the tablet or uh, mobility combine the program so the site technician they are comfortable to use easy to use and like to use okay <laughs> very good so intuitive Excellent. and simple mm -hmm. anybody else uh, something that can track track the estimates right through the invoicing, <coughs> control, um, you know, man managing, scheduling, basically everything under under one roof because everything we use now is all separate. A <coughs> lot, lot of Excel, I guess, out there, right? And then a lot of you have heard many definitions of ERP, and my favorite is Excel replacement program. <laughs> Anybody else? We won't make you talk in the mic if you don't want to. Just looking for a place where um, we've got estimates going down, but then there's extras being done and miscommunication from what's happening in the field by having to come back to the office and invoicing. So, I mean, no, we're missing invoicing. Effectively managing change orders, I guess, right? Yeah, change orders, I guess. Change orders, great. Right over here, Carrie. Um, so we're looking for resources to help manage construction inspectors and trying to have a program to keep things consistent um, and also making use of mobility solutions which include uh, GPS data so we can track like data um, just locations on the map later on in GIS. Perfect. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, back to one. Back. Just reducing paperwork. Just reducing paperwork. Yeah, reducing the amount of paperwork. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. Get rid of the paper chase. Anybody else? Good, that's great. Love to have an engaged group. Awesome. All right, thank you. Thank you for that. That helps us uh, gauge what we talk about. When we go out there and we um, survey our customers, here's, and some of these are going to look pretty familiar because um, you just talked about them. Here's what we hear the most. The office staff spends too many hours or days entering manual work orders, right? So they get those paper work orders and they're trying to read the writing, getting those into the system, all of that administrative work while talking on the phone and answering questions from the technicians. Technicians unable to get real-time data in the field. So if there are any changes, if there's any really important history, if that's not written down manually somewhere, then they're having to call that back office. And again, you know, um, really interrupting the whole um, flow of your back office. And really not looking too professional to their customers, right? So um, I know that I have had some service at my house recently, um, and I had some flooding, and one of these contractors came in, and they were so organized. They had everything on tablets, I'm signing the invoice. To me, that looks really professional. And I said, oh yeah, they know all about me. That's really good, and all that information is going to get back and through to the insurance company. So how they look, you know, that technician, that's your face, you know, that's your company out there, and how professional they look. Sales opportunities missed, right? You're out there, someone needs to replace an air conditioner, that happened to me as well, and um, again, this company, person puts it down on the tablet, this company calls me up and says, hey, 
sales department, I heard you, I hear you need a new air conditioner. What can I do? Can I get you an estimate? You know, that's customer service. And that's opportunity for your company. Uh, inefficient dispatching. So if you've got whiteboards and Excel spreadsheets, you know, that's not the most e efficient way to do business. Um, and I, I see some smiles there in the front. <laughs> There's, a, there's an easier way for your dispatchers, being able to drag and drop, and uh, Jay's going to tell you all about that. Um, lack of insight into service department profitability, and this is really addresses the management of your company. The, the ability to really, on a dashboard, to be able to see how profitable, um, or in reports, either technician or job is, and be able to analyze, do the analytics um, on, on your business to make sure that you can streamline to be the best that you can be. Um, increased competition, we hear a lot. There's a lot of competition out there, I don't know about you, but um, the better you can, the, the way to address that is customer service, customer service, customer service, right? How quick can you do it? Um, how quick can you get there? How much do you know about me? That's what's going to keep your customers coming. And that's who you're competing with out there, really. <clears throat> I don't know why that's like that. So how are companies um, addressing that? Most are addressing with some sort of uh, um, mobility strategy. Um, and it's not enough to just address it with uh, cell phone software that can work on the cell phones, can work on your tablet and all of that, but one of the key things is that it um, integrates to your back office. So you can do faster billing, faster payroll, all of that. Um, and we are one of the only companies that can do that for you. Um, and before I get into this, just a note, because I know we have a lot of um, customers who may be unfamiliar with Sage and this offering, is this offering, when you're looking for that integration into the back office, really um, works with two of our uh, construction and real estate products, Sage 100, and that's Sage 100 Contractor, Sage 300 CRE, um, working with the service management or service receivables modules, if you want the full experience. So just something to note, and I know we have some Sage 50 type, um, some Sage 50 customers here, and there are upgrade paths that are um, not painful. <laughs> So for these customers um, that we're talking about that do use this type of solution with the integrated back office, um, our, our um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, our, our numbers indicate that 28% increase in work orders completed per day per technician. This is. 11% jump in first call resolution rate, 16% reduction in work orders completed late. Is that about right, Tom? He's got that in his head. He knows exactly. His is 28.9% increase. And with that, I think that I'd like to turn it over to Tom so he can give you really the first-hand experience, talk to you a little bit about his company so you understand it and how they've grown over the years and then um, their experiences with the software. Awesome. Thank you. Do you want this one? Good morning, everybody. Um, first off, I'm not a sales guy. Uh, I am an IT manager from Modern Niagara. Uh, I'm from Ottawa, so don't hold that against me. Uh, Carrie, I appreciate your opportunity to speak to your uh, to your clients and to your customers as well. 
We are a um, mechanical, mechanical contractor from Auto originally. Uh, Modern was founded in 1959. And like Carrie said, I'm not going to go through all the slides. You can kind of read them as you're going through this. Um, we have um, been part of the uh, Canada Best 50 managed companies for the past 15 years. Up to, sorry. Um, we basically uh, try to put everything we can into our clients. We give them what we can, we're honest with our clients, and uh, at the end of the day, we provide great turnkey solutions to our clients. Uh, we have a general average avenue, uh, revenues of about $500 million a year. Uh, last year we came up with a new initiative um, that we put together by our team, uh, it's our new core values. And it's something that we all believe in, it's a teamwork initiative, determination, professionalism, and passion. Uh, presently, we are in Ontario West. Um, a few years back, about six years ago, we actually were in the East Coast as well. We purchased uh, Sayers Associates East Coast operation. That gave us visibility um, in Nova Scotia and Moncton um, and uh, St. John's as well. Uh, recently, we just we just sold off that uh, that portion of the company. So we've got uh, ten offices presently. Um, majority of our offices are in here in Ontario. Uh, we're in Saskatchewan, Alberta, and we will be soon in BC by the uh, by the end of the year. Originally, Modern Mechanical, um, back in the '59s, we were a plumbing contractor, um, bare bones, nothing flashy. We just did commercial work. Uh, later on, we got into sheet metal. Uh, we got into building services and now the building controls. And our latest venture now is the electrical. So we're now electrical contractors as well across the country. These are some of the uh, information from the company. We have about 500 million or 50, 50 million square feet of build, building across the country, 10 million square feet of uh, under service, 3 million under FM, and a combined 2,500 years of experience across the country of all our staff. And on average, we do about 600 projects a year. I'm not going to go through all this, it's just key points. <clears throat> Again, modern mechanical or modern plumbing. Introduced in 1959. Two years later, uh, 450 kilometers west on the 401, Niagara Mechanical was formed. Um, 73, uh, Joe Clark, not the Joe Clark, but Joe Clark and some of his partners um, brought in uh, John Mackinich and a couple other gentlemen. Uh, John Mackinich was my first CEO when I started the company in 1996. In 1981, we sort of split up between. Um, uh, what we call colonnade leasing and modern mechanical. Uh, some of the things we just started in 1992 was our first acquisition. We got into the sheet metal business, and uh, that was our purchase of Gorland Mechanical in Ottawa. It gave us more of a, uh, a presence on both the sheet metal and the piping side. In 1995 was our first acquisition from a service standpoint, so more for what you're talking about here today is, uh, is our first venture into that sort of thing. So. Uh, a very small company in Ottawa with had six technicians at the time. Everything was manually done. Everything was on paper. In 1997, we got into building controls. Um, and in 1999, uh, the company was rebranded as Modern Niagara, hence the, uh, hence the name. Uh, nothing to do with Niagara Falls. That's a common, uh, common thing. So um, in 2000, we just sort of bridged the company and we started creating smaller divisions as well. We, did, we went out for smaller projects. Generally, in the past, we would go after larger um, 100, 100, $200 million contracts. So now, with special projects, we'll do everything from uh, 500000 to $10 million jobs. We'll sell stuff quick in and out stuff. Uh, in 2002, we became a platinum member of the Canada Best Managed Companies. And as you can see, we started our, our continued uh, growth of acquisitions. 2004, we uh, purchased about six um, Enbridge service companies as well, and also purchased some smaller uh, Air Force, which was actually in Barrie, it shows in Toronto, uh, Niagara Mechanical Services, another uh, service division, and Bro Mechanical Services out of Kingston, which is still operating at the moment. Uh, 2007, as I mentioned, we purchased uh, Sarah's Associates East Coast Operation, and that was, uh, to the date, was our largest acquisition. That gave us about another um, <coughs> 75 or 80 employees across the country. 
In 2008, um, Ellis Don asked us to go out and, and bid on a job um, in, in Calgary. We were in Calgary at that moment. Uh, we got in there, we won the, we won the tender, and uh, we worked on a 50-story um, uh, high-rise in downtown Calgary. In 2009 was our 50th anniversary. Uh, we have 11 companies at that point, and we have a total of about 12 to 1,500 employees across the country. That's office staff and field staff. 2010, we acquired DMC Mechanical here in Toronto, and they're another sheet metal company, and uh, it gave us a, a bigger growth to, uh, to attack some larger jobs and some P3 jobs in the Toronto area. 2011, we moved into Saskatchewan. We first got our uh, job out there was the Saskatchewan Police Headquarters. We are now also doing the um, brand new Rough Riders Stadium that we joined as well. In 2013, we started going some more acquisitions. Uh, we got more <coughs> controls, and we also purchased a company called Branding Technical Services in Ottawa, and that doubled our workforce in the Ottawa area on the service management side of things. Uh, 2014, we moved into Alberta, um, farther up, a little bit north with uh, Edmonton, and also in 2015, we finalized another um, change in our structure where, where we changed all everything from uh, subject, sub companies like Gordon Mechanical and DMC who are now all their things that are modern than ever now. Uh, 2016, which we're on right now, we're getting more into the electrical stuff. We're getting a lot of electrical contractors. So in Ottawa, we acquired something called Laser Electric, and just recently, a few months back, we acquired, uh, acquired Industrial Electric here in, in Toronto. And later this year, we'll be in, in BC as well. So the reason we're here today is to talk about our experience with, uh, with Sage uh, and the SSO product. Uh, four years ago, I was, um, had a chance meeting with, uh, with Jay in the back at a Tug convention. And if you're not Tug members, uh, Tug is basically a, a, the old Timberland users group. Uh, it's a smaller convention. Um, it's, it's, it's run by end users. It's a great learning tool. So if you're not a member, you can go on the tugweb.com site um, and, and there's great help there. Uh, Jay showed me a product uh, that was just coming out that revolutionized our thought process on service management. Like everybody here, we ran into the problems of uh, inefficient work orders. Um, Monday mornings, we'd have the technician show up on uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and sit in our office for two hours. They talk about their weekend, they do their paperwork, and they go into Tim Hortons when they're out for an hour, and, and then you get on the job site. So um, now with the, with the SSO product, our field staff uh, can get up in the morning. They live across the city, they live across Toronto, the GTA. You know, it's, it's a much faster uh, area to travel. So these guys now can get up in the morning. They can turn on their tablet. They can turn on their phone. They see where their jobs are each day. They can get their work orders in. They can get all that stuff done. They don't have to come to the office. And, and at the end of the day, for everybody here, that's a lot of money sitting there at a the table and having coffees. And step back a little bit. Our challenge is, again, we have over 100 technicians across the country, um, and the paperwork is just, it's a nightmare. You know, it's getting the paperwork to the office, um, getting the paperwork done properly, getting to make sure everything is covered off. Uh, our solution was at the time, like after meeting with Jay, was to go to the, uh, working with Sage, our CR product, and to go into the uh, SM product, which we were using in the past, but not to the extent we're using it now. Um, it saves us some, uh, I would say some time, some money, efficiency is greatly improved. And the biggest thing is the paperwork. You know, there's no paperwork. You mentioned it before about getting paperwork. We don't have paperwork anymore for our sage, for our service items. It's everything's done now on, on a tablet. Um, it, it improves the efficiency internally in the office. Um, it makes our field staff that much more efficient for us. And the clients appreciate it as well. Uh, for us, the biggest thing getting going for this and the, the initiative to make sure this was a positive thing was to get the buy-in from the field techs. Uh, a lot of our field techs, as I'm sure with your companies as well, have been around for a while. Our field techs were used to doing something in a certain way. Uh, change is never easy, as you know. Um, once they saw the product and they saw what it was able to do for them, um, it greatly improved everybody's thought process. Uh, we have techs that have been with us for 25, 30 years. Um, and they were actually the first guys that really buy into the product. Um, some of these people are older people, older than I am actually, and then getting on a computer can be a little bit scary, but they actually built, uh, bought themselves into this thing, and it gives them um, a 
clearer picture of what they're doing for the day. So technicians can obviously access more information about the customer and the building. Uh, they can see exactly what's installed. A spelling error there. Uh, technicians have the ability to, to generate their own purchase orders, which is a huge thing. Don't want to call back to the office and not wanting when the purchase order is going to come through. The te technicians have full history of the job. They have full history of the equipment that they're working on. They can go back and they can get pull-up shop drawings on that equipment. They don't know what's going on. And they can also look at past work. If we're sending a new technician to a job site, he can go back and look at past work orders so he knows what's, what's done on that job. We also have a clear working um, understanding now of, of when these are up for renewals and maintenance. And on the customer side of things, um, as Kathy mentioned earlier as well, our customers now have the ability to, to log into a portal. They can see their work orders. They can actually do some work from the work orders. They can, or they can create some um, field uh, requirements from the work orders. Uh, through the portal, uh, they can email, and when our technicians are finished on the job site, they can take their tablet or their, or their you know, we give the guys this, the Samsung Galaxy phones, they can sign off on the work orders before they leave, we can email it to them before they even leave the office. So, from a, from, a, from a client standpoint, it gives them a lot more um, uh, confidence in us as well. We're not leaving them without, it, without anything on their hands. So, uh, And as you have to mention as well, just the fact that the, that the clients see our technicians using something more than just writing down on paper. They can see the, 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 um, the time and the money that we spent uh, developing it. And one of the things I forgot to mention is when we worked with Jay back in, uh, in four years ago, is we took a lot of input from our field staff, uh, and they have developed a lot and put a lot of that information into their tech to our safe service operations. So uh, it's very important uh, to get, your, get the input from you guys, and, and those guys do a great job on uh, um, fixing that stuff up for you as well. So, uh, with that, uh, I just want to thank you and thank you again, Sarah Carey, for uh, inviting me over.